Hey guys, I just wanted to give you a quick update on uh, my garden today. It's rained most of the morning and it's finally stopped. The mosquitoes are biting. I've been out in my garden working and I just can't believe how much the garden has grown in, in a week. And um, I just wanted to show you how you guys what it, what it's looking like. Uh, there is definitely some updates going. If you notice, the na name of the channel has changed from gardening to cheap to garden for cheap. That's one. Two, I've been working on my new blog site, and that should be posted soon, if not already. I've got, I think, one blog post on there already, but there's definitely more coming. So you should guys go check that out and subscribe to that as well. And without further ado, let's turn this camera around and take a gander at the garden. All right, there we go. Can you see how much it's grown? Most of my plaques are almost covered up. It was even worse before uh, I got out here and thinned out some of the cucumber and zucchini plant leaves. You can thin them out when they start covering up the flowers because if you don't, the bees won't be able to find them. As long as they still got a few leaves to get their sunlight, they're good. But I thinned them out a little bit. The smaller leaves are the cucumber ones and the bigger leaves are the zucchini if I remember correctly. I should have paid more attention when I was planting them. I was just happy to be planting and I was tired that day. And look how big this onion is. Can you see how tall that goes? Not all of my onions are doing well. We've had a lot of rain and some of them didn't like it. Kind of rotted. But the majority of them are doing fine. And here are my peppers. That's a sweet yum yum. Or yum yum sweet pepper. It's got some babies on there but got three big banana peppers and that one there's a banana pepper it's plant it's got a some on there somewhere I saw it earlier I have to hunt it down my cayenne pepper it's a little late I did have another one there but it died it was little and yeah it just didn't make it spinach that one there is a purple sweet pepper and I do have some on there I don't know if I can get to it where is it at? Right there. Sorry. Right there and right there. They're babies right now. And my corn. It's already getting its little... I don't know the technical term. Pollinating seeds thing. Yeah. I really sound smart and educated, don't I? But it's my corn crazy tall almost to my chest and I'm about I'm five feet tall so it's actually probably the three and a half feet tall because the garden beds a foot tall almost but it's crazy just how some of those are just shot up and tomatoes we'll get back to those these are my potato plants can't wait to harvest those it's one of my faves Now, let's come over here and look at the tomatoes. This plant here is a beefsteak. You can tell because the leaves are bigger than the cherry tomato. Like where my finger is, that's a cherry tomato leaf, and that's a beefsteak leaf. And that, and I've got the little thing that tells me too. But I do have a tomato on it and some flowers for it. And if you can see in there, those are cherry tomatoes. Cherry tomato. Actually, I think that one might be a beefsteak. It's going to be. But they're pretty decent size. i got a big beefsteak over here. It's pretty. And i got a zucchini right there. And i got a couple over here, but one there and this plant right here does have one but I can't really show it to you because it's underneath and then we get the pepper plant another banana pepper I like banana peppers that one there is just a sweet pepper I plan on making a lot of salsa this year I have to post some recipes <coughs> this is a cantaloupe that I planted for my son see how fast it's growing 
just climbing up there. That corn that's in there, is, it's not going to stay. It's going to come out. Oh, mosquitoes are biting me like crazy. Check out those. These are a beef steak. Still have flowers. But you can see in there, I got quite a few tomatoes already. They're just loaded everywhere. Not bad, considering how young this garden is. That is my Brussels sprout. Actually, I've got three of them, but you can see one's doing better than the other two. I did have an aphid problem. Came out here and the leaves were tucked, and when I untucked them, there was aphids in them. Just took some soapy water and washed them off. I'm been keeping an eye on them, make sure they stay clean, keep them plenty of water. My marigold plant that was really tiny finally has a bud. Can you see those peppers back there? More banana peppers. Very cool. My beets right there. And carrots. My garlic. Yeah. What had happened was, I think after uh, April 1st, it got really cold, like in the 30s, and I think it bolted. But we'll either plant something else in that area or I'll plant more garlic but if I think it's kind of late to be planting more garlic but you can see how big everything has just grown it's crazy pretty proud of this I definitely will make some a little bit of changes on the out layout next year like the zucchinis and cucumbers I'll probably put on the outside rows that way they can hang over the edge a little better and like I said the Cherry tomato plants will go in the middle because they always seem to be taller. And I think I'll skip a row between my corn and whatever else I plant. But I also plan on adding on to this garden bed another four feet on each side, making it more of a horseshoe shape. It'll go out to right about where those potato plants are. That's why I put those buckets there to kind of mark it for me. And I didn't show you my little grapevine. I planted it last year basically look like a twig still not producing still kind of short but the ground here is kind of hard and unlike the garden bed it has to struggle but it's doing pretty good I can't complain but there you go May 20th update of how much the garden's grown since April 1st crazy isn't it well, there you go. It's not quite the video I wanted to do this week, but it's something. I've been working hard on the blog website and maintaining the garden. And um, I can't believe I got to get those peppers off soon. I don't know what I'm going to do with just three peppers. Maybe, I, oh, I know. Cream cheese with bacon bits stuffed and then wrap it with bacon. Yeah, sounds good. I have to start doing some recipes, won't we? Especially when it comes salsa time. But anyway, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And be sure to check out my blog at gardenforcheap.com. And if you find yourself shopping at Amazon, please use my link. Because every little bit helps support my channel. Thank you very much. And you have a blessed day.